Today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the FRP lock that Google so graciously puts on our phones. Um, so basically what that is is when you factory reset your phone, like a, a hard factory reset, you know, you hold the power and the volume down, um, some other way that you do a factory reset other than the settings. If there's a Google account on there or um, and a lock screen, you will be locked out of your phone unless you know the Google account that was previously on there. Let's say you forgot your password or um, you don't remember the email that was on there. Whatever the case, if you do change your password and you know the email, it's going to take 72 hours. You have to wait 72 hours, three days to log back into your phone so you can use it. I don't think anybody wants to be three days without their phone. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this. The only thing that you need, the only thing that is required is a modem, a Wi-Fi connection. That's it. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how this works out. So I'm going to add a, a Google account to the phone that I have here. All right, so a Google account's now on there, and now we're going to do a hard factor reset. Like I said, if you hold down the power and the volume down, you get a little boot menu. And we're going to scroll down and do a factory reset. Now, this works for most Android devices. Um, not just Samsung. So I've tried it with several different other devices and it works. So um, this should work for you too. All right, so it's doing the reset. I'm going to kind of fast forward through this because this takes a while. All right, so the phone's coming back on. Um, one of the biggest requirements uh, as well, forgot to mention this from the beginning, is that if the phone is active, you definitely don't want a SIM card in it. Um, so you definitely want to take out the SIM card if there is one, um, just because you don't want to, you want to have no connection whatsoever. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the steps that it takes. Um, so we're going to click next, and then we're going to go ahead and sign in. The easiest thing that I did is I have an active phone right next to me, and I'm just going to use my mobile hotspot that's on. Um, we're going to go ahead and log into that. Okay, so we're connecting to the hotspot now, connected. Um, all you got to do is click next, and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when um, you get that, that Google lock thing, the FRP as they call it. How long will this take? <laughs> so we're just going to kind of wait around for that. This definitely can take a while. Um, sure. All right, and this is what the phone will say. This device was reset to continue sign in with a Google account that was previously synced to the device. Um, you can click next all day. It won't get you anywhere. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this. Um, like I said, you can use this on most Android devices, and it works out just fine. It's really simplistic and um, really easy to do. So all you got to do. Let's just go back to the Wi-Fi settings. All right, we were connected to um, my hotspot right now. So on this end, okay, I'm going to go here. Okay, I'm going to be a little quick about this. All you got to do is click Next. And when it says Checking Connection, you want to turn off the Wi-Fi, where it says Wi-Fi disconnected. Ooh. 
You gotta be quick about it though. Um, sometimes it will take you straight here. So we're gonna be a little bit faster next time. I'm gonna turn it back on. It takes about, you know, sometimes it could take up two to three times to, to get it just right. So I'm gonna take it back. Okay, it's connecting back to the hotspot. All right, I'm gonna go and click next and take it off. There we go, Wi-Fi disconnected. And boom, couldn't sign in. Okay, cool, well, let's see what it's gonna tell us. Oh, perfect. So it looks like we made it through. Most phones that I've experienced go through the process and you'll make it to the, the home page and you'll make it just fine. At that point, all you have to do is go to the settings and do a factory reset and you're in the clear. However, this phone doesn't want to do that. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and skip through all this good stuff and I'm going to kind of show you what happens. Okay, so oh, I'm just right there. This is the end of the setup wizard and right back to where we started. Um, I've looked through tons of tutorials to trying to see what I can do and I, I figured this out. So I, you know, hopefully this helps out um, some people because it was definitely frustrating on my end. Um, so you do the same exact thing. You want to click next. You want to go to the Wi-Fi. Um, want to make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Get that going. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to connect. All right, it's connected now. Next, check in connection, turn it off, software update, Wi-Fi disconnected. Awesome. Now, surprisingly enough, you wanna turn your Wi-Fi back on. Okay. You want to go ahead and scroll through all this good stuff. But when you get to the Google's privacy policy, they're the ones that um, allow you to pass their own lock. <laughs> um, so what you got to do is you got to make sure the phone reconnects to your Wi-Fi and click on privacy policy. All right, so you want to click on Privacy Policy, open that up. <laughs> it actually opens a web browser of some sort. Well, let's try again. Let's try Google's Terms of Service. Let's see. There we go. Um, so yeah, once, once you get this opened up, all you got to do is select um, some text, any text that you can select, okay, and there's this little share button right here. Go ahead and click share, and you're going to get to open the setup wizard. If you click it, nothing's going to happen. It's going to say your request has been declined for security reasons. So if we click and hold on it, do share again, and if we click and hold on the setup wizard, we're actually able to open up the application info. We're going to go and click for stop. All right, now we're going to go click the back button, click close, and next. Oh, look at that. Now, now what it says is not signed in. To use this phone, you first have to sign into your account. You can click set up phone for days, and it's just going to continue to do this. So all you have to do at this point is restart the phone.
right, so now we're at the lock screen, unlock, boom, we're in. We totally bypassed it without putting any information in. So um, the last thing that you want to do is do a regular factory reset to the settings. And the reason why you want to do this is because who knows if it's going to pop up again saying that you need to sign up uh, or sign in. All I got to do is go back up and reset in the settings and do a factory data reset. Cool. I'm not going to wait here for that. It takes way too long. Um, but if you guys have any questions, anything like that, feel free to comment. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. It really definitely helped me out. I looked through a lot of tutorials, downloaded a lot of software and stuff, so hopefully this helps.